Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hyper Mind Vanilla Server. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Where are we? We're over at Spawn because we're going to be working on the waterfront today. That's right. We've got, we got some work to do. We've got a path over that way and it needs to connect here and we got some work to do over here. So uh, let's stop chit-chatting and let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are over at Spawn. We're taking a look at this walkway that we were at last time, that we put together last time when we were working on the gate and the overall walkways inside those castle walls right there. We needed a big, formid forbidding, formidable, forbidding, yes, one of those words is good, a formidable entrance right here. And I think this set of stairways does that just right. But you notice that we're missing some decoration. It's just stone brick. Yeah, okay, that's fine. There's enough detail in there that makes it look just good enough with the B00 texture pack, but we want to add a little bit more. So I'm going to take care of that. We didn't have it quite ready to go last time, but I think we're ready to go this time. Now, whether this is a time lapse or it's just a jump cut, I'm not sure at this point, but you will know soon. And then, uh, and then I'll bring you back and kind of go over some of the design decisions. So see you in just a little bit. going to talk about the updates we got over here and then I noticed there's particle effects on the water is that is that something with a B-double-O texture pack or is that vanilla anyway that's uh, I can be a bit ADD sometimes but uh, that's not what we're supposed to focus on instead we need to focus on this thing what do you think hopefully you enjoyed that time lapse that I put together We've got a nice little design on this, well, entrance structure. Uh, I will say this. I got kind of carried away with that one design element there with the prismarine covered over by these cobblestone fences. Yeah, is that what that's called? You know, I play around with these things all the time. It was cobblestone walls. Okay. Anyway, and... Um, I may have gone a little overboard with that, but it certainly is an imposing structure. And that was the whole point. I wanted something that was a little bit less bland than what we had before. And I think we got that. And we brought in some of the same details as uh, we've got on the walls. You notice there, it's it, it's variation on a theme. It's kind of the same thing. And I'm using the Chidi Optifine Zoom key on there. Got a little bit of a difference here and I'm not going to go back through and do that all the way around. So it's the chiseled stone brick right there. You notice that? Yeah, it, we don't have that on the walls up there. I'm not changing that. Nope, not going to do it. There's too much around to to do on that. I, you know, it'll take way too long. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And we're just going to chalk this up. It's, it's something you see in castles a lot. Um, you'll see a little bit 
here and there, a kind of a different uh, look and feel based on who is doing the designing and the building and at what time in their particular life. And so it's no different here. We built these castle walls at one point during the uh, tenure of this map. And now we've done this one and we've learned a little bit and maybe had a slight change in what we're thinking is good design. Who knows? Okay. You know, it's maybe I'm just uh, coming up with some sort of excuse to not go back through and do all that. But, but yeah, we're going to uh, stick with that. So we've got this thing done. It's a nice imposing structure. That's wonderful. And you can see that uh, we've also got some nether rack hanging around. Why do we have that? Well, that nether rack is something that I do whenever I'm lining out a path. And we're going to have a path that leads from here over to this way. And I would fly over there, but it's not actually not that far. You can see the nether rack kind of skirting around the coastline here. And we're going to carry it all the way over that way. You can see it right there. But uh, the main thing is to go in right here. Clay. We've got clay. Good. I'm looking for that on another series, but uh, not this one. We've got plenty of clay as it is. So we've got this pathway right here. This is the pathway that goes along the rail right of way. And Basket has been setting up a walkway along with the rail. And so we need to hook this up with our path over there. So what I was thinking of doing originally was taking a, a sidewalk and doing the same thing. But then I was thinking, you know what? We need to make this into what's more like a harbor, right? Or a bay. And then we'll have a harbor over on uh, this side right here. Uh, hello, Mr. Boat Pig and Wolf. Yes, normally uh, wolves and pigs probably shouldn't be hanging out together. Mr. Boat Pig, I would be worried if I were you. But such is Minecraft logic. So over here... Uh, what we'll do is we'll, uh, instead of having a bridge that goes from there over to there, we will have a harbor, okay? So I've got some materials in my, in my pockets here, and maybe let's see if we can throw something together real quick. Uh, maybe not right up against the existing walkway. That walkway is an even-numbered walkway. And then I'm doing mostly odd numbered walkways over in the castle itself. Time check. Time check. Okay, we're, we're getting long in the day, but that's fine. So what I want to do is maybe come out from, from the coastline a little bit. Maybe, um, let's see, we want from here, we want maybe a walkway of three wide. And then we'll do something like this. Okay. And don't you worry. We will, we, and we always do this, whenever we've got wood touching the bottom of the ocean, we always carry it all the way down. But maybe we'll go right there and we'll throw another, another log in and then another one. Okay. So this is going to be a tall, very imposing looking structure. And then... Uh, from here and again I'm just kind of winging it right now I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with it but maybe let's um, come back here and we'll go with some stone brick just to give ourselves a little bit of uh, some some room to work with and then we'll go over like this and maybe uh, like this Okay, I don't like that right there. And that's going to change in uh, 1.14, I guess, is what the aquatic update is looking like. So uh, you won't be able to place stairs in the water and have it do that weird thing, which is kind of cool. I like that. I got to I gotta be honest with you. I, I do like that. Maybe uh, we are going to need the shovel. See, here's the thing. Inventory management. It's... It's a thing. It is a big thing and it gets on my nerves sometimes. So we we'll do that and then we'll come around a little bit more like so and like so. And don't you worry, we always carry our foundations all the way down. Oh, we got a restart in 10 minutes too. Excellent. So let's do this. And you know, a boat would be kind of nice and we'll do that. 
and then maybe we'll come back out here once more and bring in some of these spruce logs and jump jump no 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 too high like that okay and then maybe some of this stone brick behind okay all right and that gives that gives an idea of strength a little bit probably a little boring we need to do a little bit of change up here and nighttime is upon us and we've got a server restart hmm well let's get rid of the nighttime and we're going to use that neat command block thing that we've got here on hypermind i'm kind of missing that in some other series that are coming out again uh hopefully you're paying attention on the channel but modded has come back to the channel i'm pretty excited about it we're playing over on a direwolf 20 server with a few guys from new iriador but they're doing this all on their own it's dadcraft original junior wild trekker and java dan kind of having some fun over there can't wait to get over there and record a little bit more we need to do something else here okay um you know what maybe we'll come out again Let's see what one uh one two three and then do this again like so we'll come up again right there and then we'll bring in some stone bricks and yeah this is going to take a lot uh, is that four that was four man okay all right and then we'll do this and we still need to put the stone bricks behind there anyway it's just stone bricks give a good sense of structure a good foundational block so it's a little bit better than cobblestone i know cobblestone does have you know it provides some different texture maybe we'll get into that here soon i did pull out some cobblestone stairs that maybe will help us in our endeavors here we'll see okay we'll come back up on that stone brick stone brick and yeah okay now um let's try oh yeah i really don't have much of a plan here let's try some cobblestone stairs and see what that does for us like so and like so Okay, it's something. It's something. I don't know if it's quite what I'm looking for, but it's something. And it does give a little bit of a change up from this right here. How about, what if we do, do we have any cobblestone? There is no cobblestone in our inventory, but you know what? We can fake it with some of this. What if we did uh, some cobblestone right like that and then we'll come over here again i am working this on camera with you simply to get some ideas flowing and i've got aqua soap going on you can tell how about if we did f5 yeah aqua soap aqua soap does whatever an aqua soap can and that is uh, make some awkward bubbles on the water and mess up the viewport. Okay, let's get back around here. So I'll tell you this. I like, I like that. It breaks it up a bit, but I don't know if it's quite what we're looking for. Maybe we need something more like that. How about this? I will go with... Hmm. Oh, that's tough. Man, that's tough. See, that's good right there. You know what? How about I do a couple more uh, sections of of this right here with the stone brick stairs and the cobble pillars behind right on this side and then some cobblestone stairs and stone brick pillars over here. Let's go with that. I'll do a couple more and then bring it back and and we'll go from there. All right, just so you know that I have given this a little bit of a fair shot. So rather than just doing a couple of straight runs, I've also got some curves in here. 
with the design. So yes, it, we're, we've got some curves on the land, right? And it would be nice if we could have our, our structure, our port structure, follow the curves of the land. We're going to do that to some extent, but, but really for this type of design, uh, it's going to be more like rounded corners. Okay. So, so we've got this, it's a 45 degree angle. We're going to be doing that. So once we get to the inside corner there, we'll do another 45 out and then go back around and then we'll pick up that nether rack pathway right there. And then we'll have a bridge somewhere in here. Okay. So I've got the two types of designs here so we can see a straight run and a curve and we'll see how that goes. So we've got the cobblestone stairs with the stone brick behind the scenes. Then we've got the stone brick stairs and the cobblestone behind the scenes. Yeah, see, here's the thing. If we want a good foundation, it really needs to be made of stone brick. But then if you do the foundation of stone brick and then have stone brick stairs, well, the detail kind of gets lost. So I am leaning towards this right here with the stone, the cobblestone stairs and the stone brick foundation again still we're losing a little bit of detail it's hard it's hard to see with well with stairs anyway but i think that's what we're gonna go with i know that's what we're gonna go with i'm going to continue that on you can see i've got the nether rack laid out i'm gonna go with the cobblestone stairs so you you feel free to leave your pleasure or displeasure comments down in the comment section down below with that decision but we're going to carry that all the way around and put a wall up all the way around here let me show you this other end point over here too uh, the the reason i wanted to do this and and i'm going to bring up journey map yes i do use client side mods i bring up journey map here looks like we got a creeper hanging out there you can see we've got this nice structure of a bay right here and there were bits and pieces that I've carved out from it. So if you were to get this seed, you would see a lot more land hanging out around this area, but it, it's got this natural bay structure. And so we've got that cleared out. And so I was originally thinking of carrying this all the way around, but I noticed that when we come over here, let's get up on the land. Oh, there's a witch too. Okay. So we come over here, you can see that we've got Baskets Railway right over there. So I think this is a perfect place to stop our our pathway and carry it over to the, the other road right there, the passenger road or uh, pedestrian road. And and then we can pick that up. So if you're walking over from Port Hypermine, which hardly anybody does, but if you were so inclined, you could take a shortcut and go that way. All right, so I'm going to go off camera now and I am going to carry this design with the cobblestone stairs all the way around and then uh, we'll leave the spot for the bridge open. We do want a bridge because we've got this. Let's, let's bring up the journey map again. We've got this little river that can go all the way through here, so we might as well leave that open and it's kind of a protected harbor. It's not fully enclosed because we do have full full water access to through over to this section and if you pop through this rail bridge right here you can get out to the ocean this way as well but we do want to kind of enclose that and uh we'll, we'll leave a little bridge so that boats can get through under there so i'm gonna go off camera now and take care of all of that and i'll show you what we've got in just a little bit
right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Man, I love walking through that and seeing that we actually have something to walk out onto rather than this uh, little hole through the wall. This is great. Man, anyway, uh, enough about that. We've got some progress to show off. We got this waterfront thing done. Hopefully you enjoyed that little time lapse if I managed to put that together for you. And yeah, we just continued the design that I had laid out with you already and let's see maybe we get a boat over here yep yeah. so it does make things a little bit more difficult to to get around in uh around the area you can't just boat up to the the waterfront or right there and and get off the boat and get on land so this does actually present a little bit of a challenge from from here on out but it is a good challenge if you're thinking of castle defenses. So we got this thing. It goes all the way around and goes over to this side where we've got a dog and a boat. And we can bring the boat over here. And I need to get that. So no nether rack hanging out uh, on, on the walkway. So over here, uh, what I've done is connected this up with the remaining pathway right there. And so there you have it. Uh, one thing I want to do next is you see that we do have a slight problem over this way. We've got a little bit of a gap, okay? And what we're going to do with that gap is we're going to put a bridge across there. And let's get over here. and Maybe we can work some of this out together. I don't know how much time we've got for that we are getting pretty long in the episode but uh that's awkward hmm i can't fix that right now yeah we'll just put a torch on there to remind me so we'll put stairs right there yeah i think that'll be good so yeah yeah yep okay anyway so what we're gonna do over here is we're going to use um we're gonna go like this and this and this okay and right in the middle we're gonna have um, a three wide walkway of cobblestone okay and then this is where it gets tricky maybe i should have gotten some more netherrack and maybe we'll just use this stuff okay and yeah yeah we'll do that and then maybe over here we'll do the same thing just take that out. Can I pick that up too? I'm, I'm not really running low on resources, but it is nice to not have to deal with making so much of that stuff. Wow. Right like that. Okay. And then we'll go up, what, another one like so. Take out that nether rack. And we, we got to do this from both sides like this so that I make sure to get... Um, get it even all the way across no i didn't want that i wanted to go up one yeah yeah up up one yeah so we'll just do that okay and we'll take out that nether rack there and i can't grab the items okay we still did get that one all right so we're gonna do where's the sun okay sun's there so one, one, and then up one, and then what do we do? I think at that point we need to go up one more. Yeah, like that. And then we start expanding this out. I want a little bit of a curve going. And we'll do this and this okay and like so and then what we do and i'm sorry, you know I, i've wanted to get into more building on camera because sometimes you just want to see the process right i don't know maybe maybe that's just me maybe uh maybe i'm i'm barking up the wrong tree but uh it it helps me to see the thought process of people as they build these things so maybe it does you as well and maybe this is helpful maybe it's not so you can let me know what you think is this helpful do you like seeing me
do some building on camera? If so, comment down, down below the video. That'd be great. Um, otherwise, we're just kind of doing what I think people will want, but who knows? And then what do we do here? How many we got in between? Let's, let's see if we can get a measurement on that. Five across. It's not quite what I wanted. Um, I wanted maybe... What if we did this? Okay. And then take this one out. And then go across like so. Okay. You see what I'm doing here? You picking up what I'm putting down? So we'll do two and then two and then three on the top as our our topmost dealio there. Okay. We get a nice little curve in the in our bridge, and then we can drop down to the water level and see what it looks like. And then we'll figure out some sort of a uh, a design to go on the outer edges. Okay. So that right there, it's a good enough curve, I think. Where did I put my boat? Okay. Yeah, good enough curve. The downside here right now is that it's not very strong, right? So we need to do a little bit of some, uh, some strengthening. And that is going to be a bit more involved than I really want to do on camera because, uh, you know what, let me, let me just... Um, Put together one part of it and then then uh, I'll go off camera and take care of the rest of that so what I want to do is make it so that we've got a little bit you know what we still need another rack let's do that and that yes okay and then that and then that okay like so We'll go up. Man, that's that's annoying to have to do that over and over again, jumping around. That is the downside of having a uh, a waterfront front like this. But again, you got to think in terms of castle defenses. That's a pretty good defense if you can't get up onto the land, right? So, so that's really what people would be thinking of, and we'll do that right there as well. So. Uh, yeah, what we do, let's get rid of the nether rack real quick so you can see kind of what the final design is going to look like. And so there we go. It thickens up the bridge, at least from this, a little bit right here from this uh, elevation. And it shows the roadbed a little bit. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to carry that all the way across on both sides. I'll bring you back once I get that done. You know, until I started doing this waterfront thing, I really didn't pay attention to the sounds that boats made. They've added a rowing sound. Of course, they've probably done that a long time ago. And yeah, I just haven't paid attention. Anyway, besides that, let's stop paying attention to the boat and start paying attention to the bridge. So there we go. What do you think? It certainly looks a lot stronger than it did with just the walkway there. It's not... It's not the uh, strongest bridge in the world, but again, we want uh, multiple points of failure so that if the castle needs to be defended, we can fall back easily and then break things down. And, you know, this this bridge could easily be blown up or torn apart as, as the defenders are beating a retreat into the castle. So I think this is perfectly fine. Certainly don't want it to be too strong. So... So yeah, we, we cut that down and then our defenders can back up into this and then eventually drop the portcullises up there. And there we go. Anyway, uh, it's not like we're actually fighting any battles or anything here in the castle, but hey, it, it helps to add a little bit of story. So uh, uh, in addition, so the, it's probably the first time. Well, we did have some lanterns up in the castle keep, but... This is the first time we've had to do this here because we've got some um, we've got some top side slabs right here. So that means that they are spawnable if we don't have appropriate light levels. And I wish there was some form 
if they could put something in the game where we could stop mob spawning within a certain radius. That would be great. Then you don't have to worry about lighting and all of that stuff. But I digress. I like this, this bridge and I like this waterfront. We've done a lot over the past, oh, past few episodes. Well, uh, again, so this one is coming out in 2018. I am recording most of it in 2017, just, uh, you know, with end of the year stuff and hanging out with family around Christmas and New Year's. Um, just couldn't quite finalize it the way I wanted to, but we are back now. Hopefully you had a wonderful Christmas celebration, a New Year's celebration. I certainly, uh, well, I hope I do. I'm recording this beforehand, but uh, I just can't, can't quite keep up the pace for getting these out before 2018. Anyway, timey-wimey stuff. Uh, enough about that. Hopefully you enjoyed your New Year's Eve and Christmas celebrations, and um, and hopefully you have enjoyed this project. Now let's turn our attention to something over here. We've got a bulletin board for the to-dos, and what I need to do is turn down the portal sounds. Where those blocks? Blocks? Yeah, blocks. Good. Okay. So we've got this bulletin board that I set up quite some time ago, and because of the uh, terraforming slash landscaping that I had to do for the inside walkway here and the gate over there, uh, we well we've we've lost a few meters of of ground. So uh, what we can say now is that the landscaping is done, the eastern gate is done, the port area, um. We're not quite done. There's one more thing to do. I'm not going to do it in this episode. We're, I'm going to do it off camera. We need some, uh, what's the word? Uh, piers. Okay. So we'll probably throw a couple of piers off uh, down there in the harbor area. And then maybe one over there off the uh, cemetery for uh, the boat pig. So uh, maybe, maybe one pier over there and then a couple over in here. I'll do that off camera, but... Suffice it to say, I'm taking care of that. Storage room floor, so we're done there, okay. Eastern gate is done, and the landscaping is done, and then what else? Uh, walkways, okay, those are done. That leaves barracks, houses, armory, a dining hall, the stable, market, and chapel. And that's something I'm going to put out the call to you for. So I want... I want some other hyperminers to come in here and do some of these things. Uh, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna sit here and require them to, but I really like that. Actor came in, he did this fountain. Lapis came in and did this walkway right here. It'd be really cool to have some other touches of hyperminers here in the castle grounds, and so I'm gonna leave it up to them. So I'm gonna put out the call to you. Go bug them. Let them know that we've got some projects over here in the castle grounds to do, and I'll let them know on Discord as well. But uh, we're going to see if we can get some other people hanging out and doing some of these things and uh, helping to finish out this particular project. But we're coming to a close here in the Hypermine Spawn Castle project, which I'm kind of excited about. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I certainly enjoyed putting it together. I certainly enjoyed uh, really just putting some finishing touches here and hopefully you have as well. Let's do this so we can see, um, yeah, more of our progress. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. So you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.